I'm back. Okay, sorry guys. So I guess it didn't upgrade. So now I'm upgraded. Could have given me another warning. Okay, so I don't know where I was at. You share my screen again. Okay, yeah, stir. So anyhow, check this out and make sure you're familiar with everything here. Watch these videos, make sure you're up to date on the next web webinars that are coming up. So they have tons and tons of webinars, but you guys have to register for them. And if you miss it, as long as you're registered, they will email you the replay, okay? Um, oh, I also want to talk about when you're booking parties, Something that Stephen Joseph, he's a brand new national executive, does is he front loads his month. So, for instance, he'll, he'll schedule maybe eight or ten parties for the first week of the month. Then he'll do like six to eight parties for the second week, maybe four to six for the third, and so on and so forth. So you don't feel so overwhelmed with having, you know, six or eight parties every single week. But I would like for all of you to at least try adding one more. This is, this is what catapulted me with my bookings, is whenever I decided that I wanted to try doing eight parties for one week. And I only did it one week because I was scared to death to do eight parties. I thought there's no way I'm gonna have time. Now I'm doing 15, 16, and it's really, it's not that much extra work, to be honest with you. And it's, it's paid off big time. But what I did to get those extra eight parties, like I usually did four to six. So I needed, I think the first time I did it, I probably needed, you know, four or five more parties. And so I just offered prizes to everybody that would take the date. I don't remember if it was um, a discount on their order. I don't remember if it was free shipping. I don't remember what it was, but I hustled. I went through my friends list, A through Z. I went through, and I probably didn't get all the way through Z, but I went through past hosts, past guests, I went through everybody offering them this deal. So once I got to eight parties, that is what set me in this upward spiral <laughs> when it comes to bookings because I was able to ask so many more people. So, you know, like there was one week I had, I think 11 or 12 parties and I only got four bookings from all of those parties. And I thought to myself, okay, that's still four bookings. Don't be so, you know, irritated about it. But what if I'd only had two or three parties? You know, I may not have gotten any, any bookings. Or what if, you know, like this week I have 11 parties to the 23rd and I have two of them that are at zero. What if those were the only two parties I scheduled for myself? I'd have done all that work this week and nothing happened. So I just want you guys to, if you feel comfortable with just, three or four parties a week. I just want you to at least one week add, add one more just on one of those weeks and just see how it goes. And then the next week, maybe try adding one more when you realize that it's just as easy to do six as it is to do two, to be honest with you. Um, so anyhow, that's my spiel on that. I told you about the sales incentive. You guys know about the new kits. Make sure you check out um, a consultant's corner. I'm a back button hitting fool. But when you go to market, like I love going to marketing imagery and just seeing what is featured this month because this is what it's gonna it's gonna give you so much information that you can use to post. And you guys can also use the search feature. So like, say for instance, you want to search something about the quick cooker, just type in quick cooker and you can over here, you can click on products and it's going to give you all the products and accessories for the quick cooker. There's a recipes, there's a video and there's resources. So here's all the resources. Let's say I just, I want recipes. It's going to take you right there for the recipes for the quick cooker. So you can do that with anything here. You can look at the resources, the products, videos, recipes for any product or anything. Um, I even typed in, because I needed to know information about the 
Disney trip. So I typed in magic in the making. And it took me right to the resources. So I just clicked on the first one and it took me right to where I wanted to go. I needed to know, okay, what's the deal for the elite trip? Um, what are we doing here? How do you earn it? It tells you exactly how to earn it for those of you that are new watching this. So there's all kinds of resources here. The FAQ is fantastic. You can track your progress. And it tells you how many points you need for what level you're at with the Pampered Chef. So the search feature in Consultants Corner is really good. Okay, so I'm going to stop talking. Unmute yourself and ask me a question if you have one. I'm sorry that I rambled on. That's what I do. Anybody? Fly. Hey, I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Okay. <clears throat> I was trying to send out the customer connection emails. Yeah. I know how to do that, okay? My problem is importing my contacts. I tried to do that again tonight, and I couldn't figure it out. I've done it before, but and then I've looked in the Woods Warriors, and I, I thought Arlene had posted something, and I couldn't find it. So I just don't remember how to import. And the way it was telling me to do it, it wouldn't pull it up right that template. Okay. Oh. So I don't know what I did wrong. Because it's telling you to click on import contacts. Like go down. Do that. Oh, right here? Yeah, it tells you to click on oh. import contacts and then it pulls up this other little box. But you don't have to import your contacts though. When you send a customer connection email, okay, you can just click on send customer connection email. Oh, you have to select your contacts. I apologize. Yeah, you select all those, but it was telling you to like import all these, and it was trying to like tell me to pull up a template, and it was confusing. So I don't have to do that. I can just do well, the, the last time. The last time I sent one of these. I, this is what I did, unless they've changed it since then. I know they've been making changes. And I probably should have watched the video in the beginning, but I always skip those. Okay, so no, it took me right to where I, I needed. So then you, you can just choose. So it has 4,892 recipients. Wow. That's yeah, crazy. I mean, you can just type everything in there and then send it and choose your stuff, but it just yeah. confused me because it was telling me to import my contacts and then it pulls up like this Excel document and I have no idea. It's never done that to me before, so I was just curious. Okay. Uh -uh. Yeah, no, you can just click on select your people and click on customer connection email. You don't have to do the import. Okay. But I Good. do like this October new consultant email draft because you send this to all of your Yes, that's what I was going to send out was my anniversary thing to, because I've got some people that I don't know how to get a hold of any other way, you know, besides email. Yeah. So. All new products. Yeah. So for those of you watching this that have never sent out a connect, customer connection email, this is a good way to get the word out. Like anytime I'm running a big special, like if I'm doing, um, there have been times where I've offered 20% off to people because I need to make my sales goal. And so I'll just send an email out to everybody and you wouldn't believe the responses I get whenever I'm offering 20 or 30% off. And yeah, I'm basically giving up my commission um, because I make, I make 27% commission. So I'm basically giving up my commission, but it's worth it for me because I'm getting, I'm still getting sales that are going to increase um, points for trips and things like that. So it's worth it. To me and I don't do it all the time but the customer connection emails are what really does that for me nine times out of ten sending an email to somebody to get a book email that doesn't really work but whenever I've done discounts and uh, things like that it works so all right anybody else have any questions are you gonna just tell me to quit talking <laughs> it won't work but you can tell me I lost Noelle. She was my new gal. She's been doing so good. Love it. I just want to say I'm very excited for you and happy executive director. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you. I appreciate y'all so much. You guys are awesome. And just know that 
I'm sorry that I don't do these team meetings more often. I really need to do it once a month. I just, this is how I do it. And I feel like people are going to watch this back and go, what is wrong with her? She offer meds. <laughs> so, That's no, cool. I'm not. <laughs> That's why we I'm, love you. I love you too. All right, it doesn't look like anybody else has questions. So anybody watching this in replay, if and you have questions, just Warnberg, come to Warnberg post in the comments. Place. Yes, thank you, Jennifer. October 29th, you guys. Even if you're not near Missouri, um, try to make the trip if you can. October 29th and 30th, we're going to do a team meeting first, and we're going to do like we're going to cook up some recipes, and then we're going to do like photo shoots. Like not really a photo shoot, but we're all going to be able to like. Like we have a menu. Let me just tell you what the menu is so far. It's from I think it's going to a little bit. I don't have it in front of me. But we're going to use the blender to make some queso. We're going to have three blenders. We're going to have three quick cookers or two quick cookers. We're going to do the Oktoberfest in a quick cooker. We're going to do the pumpkin cheesecake in a quick cooker. We're going to do the nacho cheese sauce and have cheese and chips in the blender. We're gonna do a hummus with vegetables in the blender, maybe a chocolate hummus. I saw that recipe. Um, and then maybe some type of a drink in the other blender. I don't remember exactly what we said we were gonna do. Then we're gonna do the rock crock and do a lava cake because everyday can is in the $39 kit. And we're gonna go live while we're there on the opportunity event, the work from home group, to show everybody the kits. We're gonna have everything lined up with all three of the kits and talk about them in the work from home group. And we're going to let you guys take pictures with the product and the recipe so you guys can use that for your own templates and make your own, your own images. So that's kind of, and then we're just gonna sit around and eat. And then the 30th is literally just gonna be a pajama party at Arlene's. We're gonna have some adult beverages, gonna play some games. And you guys, we're gonna get one-on-one -on -one with Claudia. Like there's not gonna be a whole lot of people that go. So if you go, we, we get her to ourselves. It's not like at national conference where there's a ton of people that want her attention. We get her for us. So if you can go, that is fantastic. And Christy, I know you're in Arkansas. For anybody else that's in Arkansas, I'm planning on going a day or two beforehand. Um, so we'll have room for one person if somebody wants to ride with us, but then I'm also staying until the 31st. So you probably want to um, either stay there and hang out with me, <laughs> and go trick or treat with my grandsons, um, or find another way back. So that's that's an option for any of you that are in Arkansas. Or there's several of you in Arkansas. If all of you want to carpool together, that's a good idea too. It's like a six hour drive for me from Alexander. So, all right. Thank you for reminding me of that, Jennifer. I didn't have that on my little sheet. Okay, that's it, guys. I will leave you alone. Thank you all for joining, and I apologize in advance. And I hope you all have a wonderful evening, and talk to y'all later. Bye.